What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. We got a really special video lined up. We got Nate in here. What's good, big dog? What and do? I was getting a lot of requests for people wanting me to kind of go with Nate, go throughout our day, kind of see what he's eating, see how he's training, see how this dude gets so massive. So that's what we're doing today. So this is gonna be probably titled Day in the Life featuring NPC competitor Nathan Whitlatch. For those of you guys that don't know, Nate is a physique competitor, men's physique. Let's get, a, let's get a nice little look at him. Oh. Woo, hit him with a double bye. <laughs> and by far out of any of my friends, definitely the uh, most blessed I would say, <laughs> for this entire lifestyle. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go get a lift in here in a second. We're gonna eat some food and some yeah. Yummy food. You ready for it? You already know. Let's do it! Well, we just got to the gym, guys. We're gonna get a little lift in. What are we hitting today, big dog? Chest. Chest. Little tries. Little tries. And I figured we would just kind of go through our workout. And before we started, though, um, since this is a day in the life, I kind of want to know what old Nate takes to get amped up for his workouts. So, a little bit of this. So, so for pre-workout, you got the tunnel Some vision, vision. repping the brand. You nice. Know. Some beta alanine. Oh, you stack beta alanine yep. with it. Helps with the pump, yeah, right? Itchy cheese, I kind of like it. Right, right. And of help course, with help with the pump. Pure pump. So you're basically doing a triple stack. Yeah, I'm every a pump time. chasing man. See, I don't have the beta alanine, but I do this right here, tunnel yep. vision with the pure pump. Works really good for me. Maybe, uh, you know what? I'll try your beta alanine today. Hope you're ready. And we'll see how it works. And then real quick, now we're getting ready to work out. Pre-workout nutrition, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? What do you normally eat before a workout? Is it essential for you to get a meal in before? What do you think? That all comes down to like the time, how much right. time I have. If I have time to eat and not know that it will digest before I go in. Right. Because so, lifting on a full stomach is not my cup of tea. Right, I yeah. Don't, I don't like it But either. like if, say like for instance, you know, we just left Subzilla, we don't really have time to eat. Right. I have to get something. Right. You know, at least something small. A little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs. Right. You know, to help me. Because I don't like lift on the empty stomach. So you ate, you ate on the way here? Yeah. What did you have? <laughs> a cookie. A Lenny. <laughs> one of those Lenny's cookies. Lenny and Larry's, yeah. which you know, people ask me all the time if they're healthy, and I think if you balance them and use them right, they can be beneficial, yeah. but it's not something you can't just think that since your diet is a certain way, like you can eat right. eat a couple protein mm -hmm. cookies and it's better than a regular yeah. cookie, because that's not really how it works. Or food, you know, yeah. always, all, you always gotta choose regular food over like a treat. Right, you know, with <laughs> exactly, the same macros when it comes whatever. to gains. All right, Absolutely. anyways, enough talking here, let's get our stuff in and let's train. Drop a piss in the location. I'ma pull up in that bullet coupe spaceship. Drop off a bag of some dangerous. I'ma hit you for AMC if you make it. Watch drop Collie Grove out the sky. Ooh, and a group with the best rapper. Dude, I feel I'm itching too, man. I really feel it. Beta Alanine's no joke. Yeah, it's kicking in. All right, man. What are so right now? What are we getting ready to do? What are we starting with on this chest day? Uh, we did 135. Just to get nice and loosened up. On flat bench, on right? On flat bench, yeah. Now up to 225. Probably, I mean, a good 12, 15, 12, 20 15. Reps. What do you normally, what's your weight usually go up to on these? It depends on what I'm doing, how I'm working, you know? If I'm going for, like, if I'm, I'm wanting to go super heavy, I'll go, I'll go up to 275 and 315. I haven't really worked up higher than that for working sets because I work out by myself. Right. Um, and when it comes right. to your training, like you're, cause you're bulking right now. Right. And you're working on your spring show. Right. What um, what changes in your training? Or like, do you have a certain way you train? Or do you just have to come in and do what you feel? Or? Yeah, especially when you're in prep and your carbs are depleted, man. It comes down to like, you kind of got to get in what you feel up to doing. Yeah. I guess if that makes sense. <laughs> right. Um, you know, 225 now is, that's fairly like light right. for working sets. Uh, cutting, <laughs> that becomes heavier. <laughs> right. So yeah, this, I mean, and when you're cutting too, a lot of people, if, if you've cut, you know, you've cut your carbs, if you haven't, um, catching that pump, you know, because a lot yeah. of people love that pump. Right. Uh, so you try to do everything you can to get that to happen, and that becomes quite hard. <laughs> so I know, agree, man. More or less, when from, it gets from stuff. personal experience, I, yeah, I, I can, right. I can you agree. know, exactly. I'm kind of feeling it a little bit right now. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, we can catch a good one today. All right. Well, hey, with all these supplements, we should be good, yeah, right? Let's go. All right. Let's hit it. Bench 
is done, how many sets do you typically do for exercise? Yeah, I like at least four. At least four? Yeah, because you got like your first, your first act or your first set. Wow, your first set. <laughs> um, like your warm up, your stretch, you know, get everything, your blood flowing. And then uh, I always like to have three working sets. So even if you go like 135, 225, and then your working sets are at 315, right. your sets start at 315. So you get like your three working sets in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, After yeah, your yeah. warm-ups. Yeah, ramping your weights up. Right, exactly, yeah. Similar yep. to how I train. Right, absolutely. And, and then if right. you're feeling if you're feeling frog or something's feeling good, you know, six sets. Right. Why not? You know, it's feeling good to go with it. How are you feeling so far after our flat bench? I mean, I feel really good today. I feel like pumped. <laughs> good. You know? What, cool. are, what so. are we moving into next? Uh, incline dumbbells. Incline. But we got to go to that bench because that seat doesn't, the bottom seat doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're over here, folks. <laughs> yeah, get it in where we can fit it in. <laughs> Nate, what are we doing back in the locker room, big dog? Time to switch into the cutoff. <laughs> Let's... Boom! <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Chest press. A little hammer strength chest press on the seat machine. How you feeling so far? Two exercises Good, in. Uh, Looking is, massive. Uh, what are you weighing right now? Roughly 245. We'll do a weigh-in for the people once yeah. we're done. But yeah. That uh incline <laughs> yeah, got dude, me no smoked joke. right now. No we did joke. Four sets. Right. I feel yeah. pretty good. So right tell you, now. you don't need a ton of sets to have a good workout, man. You no. maximize yeah. the ones you're doing. And proper form, man. You know. Right, for sure. Push yourself to the limit. Right. That's what it's all about. Let's get her done. Cable flies. Cable flies. Now, do you always start with like free weights and then move more into machines towards the end or? No, uh, what is it, Monday? Last week, uh, I worked out with Austin and we supersetted uh, the chest press on the hammer strength yeah. with these off the rip. We got a pump going, dude, you know, halfway burn out. Then we went over there. So basically what you're saying is it doesn't matter as long as the variety, you're kind of mixing it up. And right, yeah. Not yeah. doing the same things every yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. You can't do the same routine every and week. you gotta you step know? out of your comfort zone yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. What, <laughs> what do you have to say about people that don't squat or deadlift? So I get that a lot, like, <laughs> like I'm working up to that. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Uh, but I understand it. And a lot of people shy away from it because it's, it's more of a full body type right. of lift and some people to some people that intimidates them you know right. so right off the rip of course being a man you want a big chest and big arms you know right, girls right. they want a big butt and big legs um so i guess i can kind of understand like an intimidation factor but it is a necessity for sure yeah absolutely some of your best gains come from hitting those oh big yeah compounds. absolutely especially your legs man right especially your legs let's get a shot of them oh what <laughs> Ankle like that one. I think it's a game. I came up from nothing. You can't tell me. Yeah, did it on my own. Check out my neck, check out my wrist. Yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be like this. Now I'm getting rich. I swear every day we live. Yeah, man. every day we uh, Do you have any tips for hitting these flies? <sighs> yeah. When a lot of people you'll see, keep your chest up. Because when they when you sink your chest and you bring your flies in like this, right. you're, not, you're not barely hitting your chest. It's all shoulders. If you right. keep your chest up and bring it in like that, you're going to squeeze and use your chest. Right. That's why a lot of people, man, my shoulders hurt from chest yesterday. They're going to hurt a little bit. But if you do your exercise properly and engage your chest, then your shoulders won't hurt. Good tips. It's like you're dog. hugging, like you're hugging a tree. You know, you don't right. have your arms straight like this. Right. Because then you you don't really hit your chest until you come in like that. You keep them like this, chest up. Boom. You know, just like that every time. Heck yeah. Words of wisdom. What are we hitting right now, big dog? Some front raises. 
Front raises. Yeah. Throw this in on your chest day, do you? Yeah. It's gonna hit your front delts. But if you bring them in, you know, keep your keep it tight. Right. And really focus on your chest, it's gonna hit your chest. So too. is that the secret to getting shoulders like yours? <laughs> One of the many. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, son. All right, Nate, is that, is that it for the workout? That'll do it right there, brother. Dude, looking massive. Let's officially see what you weigh right now. And then, and then I'll make you do a physique update. We'll oh, see what a what? 245 pound physique competitor looks <laughs> yes. like in his off season. Yeah. Yay. Gotta love these old fashioned scales. Yeah. Makes me want to pull up my typewriter. <laughs> is that how you edit your videos? <laughs> <laughs> Seven. 247, almost 250. Yeah, roughly. Concrete cracking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fully Physi dressed, so probably like 244, maybe something like Physique that. Physique update time. Who? <laughs> the guy? <laughs> uh, like this? Just like that. <laughs> Physique update? I've become a plus size model. <laughs> <laughs> so give him some stats, man. How tall are you? 6'3". 6'3". Three. Three. So, yeah. so we just seen 247, 6'3". Yep. The thing is about you, man, you're bulked right now, but like you still have a decently tight core. Look at that. You still got abs when you flex. Shoulders are massive. Not Chest bad. is massive. Not bad at all, man. If I could weigh 247 and look like that, I would no, take it. For no cardio. For no cardio. <laughs> Fairly happy. And then your show's in the spring, right? You're gonna be competing again? Yeah. Hopefully uh, early, early spring, yeah. Dude, that's gonna be... There's a bunch be... of us. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, that'll be big. You're gonna wanna miss it. You're, uh, your boy here might even be doing it as well. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of us. <laughs> now, if you had to give some advice to anybody, let's say not everybody's a competitor like you, what kind of advice would you give people getting into the gym for the first time, dieting for the first time? Like, what would just be a generalized tip? One word. Yeah. Process. Right. It's a process. You can't, it doesn't matter what you're doing, how you're lifting, whatever. If you wanna be the strongest man on earth, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna, not gonna happen in three months. You're not gonna be humongous and then shred down. You right. know, like it takes time. Everything takes time. If you wanna, and, and take your time too. Um, myself included. Um, have, everyone gets caught up in this winter bulk, summer cut. Winter bulk, summer. Well, I wanna, I wanna get bigger, I wanna get bigger. How do you expect to get big in three months? Right. You can't. If you want to bulk, take your time and bulk. Deal with not having, you know, your flashy abs and all your striations and all that stuff, kind of like me. Um, I'm trying to get as big as I possibly can right now. And that way, come next year, I can cut down and be, you know. Still big. Yeah, but a lot bigger than I was for my first shows. Right. Um, if you want to cut, take your time with your cut. Don't just drop your carbs and be like, oh yeah, I'm shredding up. Like, cause then you're gonna cut too much and you could possibly get into your lean muscle. Right. Um, and that's what a lot of people Happened tend to Happened to me do. on my first cut. Dude, and it happens to a lot of people, you know? Like, cause everyone thinks, well, I don't wanna, I, if I cut my carbs, you know, then I'll get, I'll get lean as heck really quick. Yeah. Sorry. But that's not, that's not the proper way to do it. Take your time. If you're gonna do it by yourself, that's fine. Do your research. Right. If not, that's what there's coaches for. Right. You know, and, and don't, People look, tend to get big headed too, you know, like, well, I can do it. You know, I can do it myself, but well, you, you can. I'm not you saying can, that you yeah. can't, but you know, Phil Heath has a coach. Right. Jeremy Buendia has a coach, the right. Olympians. Having that outside opinion know. is huge. Like yeah, I, exactly. I have some clients you know? I work with and they'll send me progress pictures. They're like, mm -hmm. I don't notice any difference. I'm like, well, I can. Right. And they're like, well, thank you for, you know. Yeah, you know, you know exactly. And, and don't shy away from that either. A lot of, and stay off the scale, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, stay off the scale. It doesn't matter what you weigh. Right. It matters how you feel and what you look like. Exactly. That's it. You can be 315 pounds and diced up and be happy as could be, but you, I want to, I want to get down to 275. Who cares? You look great. Right. You know, it doesn't matter. Right. As long as you look good and feel good for yourself. That's what matters. Nothing else matters. Heck yeah, big dog. All right, well, we're gonna head out here and get some food, right? Yes, we are, because I'm starving. What, what, what are we thinking? Some Chipotle. Something. Some Chipotle. Yeah. Chipotle is probably the easiest way to still kind of hit your clean diet without Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I get a little bit more carbs than everyone else does, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to grow. All right, anyways, right. let's see you, homie. Yep. 
no idea how to start. <laughs> what do you think, man? How comfy? It's, yeah, it's extremely compact, but it's like it is a it's comfortable. Right, sports car, yeah, baby. Dude, no kidding. It's a lot. See the dad mobile. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what I'm whipping in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hey, but when you have kids, man, you gotta. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You do. Yep. Shade zone. That's right. Time to roll. Let's roll. Oh, 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 oh. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. This oh. had, oh, it's got the paddle. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. So I see you got two bowls, big dog. <laughs> you eating two? No. Got one for Ank. Oh, Ankrum? Yeah. All stuck at Subzilla, he needs some food too. Yeah, poor guy, he's gotta eat. So basically you got double brown rice. Double brown rice, a little bit of fajitas, and uh, chicken and steak. Double meat. Yep, and corn and uh, a little bit of tomato, like the salsa. Now, so. when you're, you're bulking right now, do you track macros or? Mm, no. What's, what's your diet like? Uh, a lot of food. Just a lot of food. Yeah, and it's, I don't know. I have a fairly good idea of like my body when it comes to my food intake. Right. So therefore I don't feel, and it, not that I'm right or wrong, but I don't feel it necessary to track my macros. Right. You know, and unless like, you know, if my coach is like, hey, you know, you need to hit, 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 all, ugh, hit all these, you know, <laughs> right. then absolutely I would have to. but. For, do I need to eat more if I'm being honest? I'm right. not, yeah, I'm not eating nearly enough. When you're but, cutting, do you transition to counting macros or do you just kind of go off your coach plan? Yeah, coach's plan. Yep. So you're not scanning anything, you're just following whatever Fo they write yeah, down exactly. for you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, honestly though, that's the fastest way to make progress. It is too, and it's and due to the fact that like my other shows, I've come to realize a lot about like either being hungry or like being empty. Right. You know, and that's one of the things that uh, I want to work on with this show is staying fuller. Right. You know, so. Yeah, because you, you cut really hard for that final week. Yeah. Your last show, and you came in a little flat, admittedly. Yeah. You looked great. You were No, nice. yeah, right. But, uh. Yeah, but it's, uh, that's one thing that I, I, it's like I tell everyone that I've ever worked with or what, you know, whatever it may be, if it's on that paper, like I'm going to do it. You right. Know, it doesn't matter. It's a sure, most surefire way to succeed. Yeah, absolutely. Just, you know, you invest in it and you invest in yourself. Right. And if you cut yourself short, like, you know, what kind of, uh, Results you yeah, expect. Yeah, no, yeah, sorry, I couldn't think, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always tell people, like, you know, you can lie to other people if you want, but don't lie to yourself. No, absolutely. Because I, I'll get some people sometimes that'll tell me, like, I've been following the plan to a T, but I've gained weight. I'm like, it's impossible. No, you right, know, that's yeah. absolutely yeah. impossible. Well, okay, well, I've been having a little bit of pop here and there. I'm like, see, <laughs> yeah. you can't lie to yourself. Yeah. Cause you're in an 800 trend, calorie deficit. You can't gain weight. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, man, I'm starving. Let's eat. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, what do we have here, big dog? <laughs> what don't free <laughs> Vegas trip no carb <laughs> what exactly do you get because we have Vegas we leave Thursday so even though this is a Nate Whitlatch day in the life we'll get a few different diet perspectives what are we getting here yeah what's in there <laughs> chicken and three pieces of cheese <laughs> <laughs> cutting your carbs so we can lean up for them poolside shots baby Woo! Almost. We trying. We trying. We trying. Catch me in that one piece, baby. I don't even have my shirt on in the pool. <laughs> oh, that's great. I didn't even grab them. The Nate bowl looking beastie. Oh, and then my bowl, guys, in case you were wondering, since I am tracking macros right now, you can track all of this in my fitness pal. Actually, let me just show you. It's a little tough to see, but I got two servings of chicken, one serving of fajita veggies, some romaine lettuce, and fresh tomato salsa. Nothing too crazy. You can literally type in Chipotle when you're adding food to your thing here. So we'll click add food. Type in Chipotle up here in the search bar, search it, and literally their entire menu pops up right here. You can just click what you want, two servings of meat, whatever, 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 see the macros for, add it right in your plan. I don't do this all the time, but I do do it on occasion and helps me stay on point while still eating out. So 
No macros for this big boy, though. Nope. How's it taste? Really good. Good. It's a lot of food. Some reduced sugar ketchup, baby. That's the game changer right there. Game changer, I feel it. I discovered that. Oh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I put two bottles in the fridge and they were both gone in like three days. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like regular ketchup. <laughs> mm, you done? Yeah, two bites. Yeah, how, how was that bird food? Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, big boy? You finish yours? We're good, son. <laughs> awesome. We have a customer coming in. Uh-oh, who is this? Oh, there he is. Look at that beard, oh, though. I know, it's kind of uh -oh, I see you, boy. son. Performance detailing in the house. What up? <laughs> Call him for If you me. need your car detailed, this is who I go to. Great dude right here. Boom. Here. Appearance plus. Hold up. Let's get that to focus. Screenshot this right here. Good stuff. I promise. Only people I trust with my whip, right? You know what? Lex is next. <laughs> Uh, all right, man, it's been a pretty good day so far. We had a couple questions from Facebook that I feel like we'll ask, you know, to give some people some insight into your life. So one that I seen that I thought was a good question was, so some of you guys might not know, but Nate has two kids. Two kids. One on the way. Third one on the way. Third one on the way. And someone wanted to know how you balanced that, having kids, with your job, with dieting, with training, how you find the time basically. It can be tough to do, man. I mean, I, it is. I you know, I, I have probably more free time than most, although I am working quite a bit no, with my right, business. Right. I just, you know, always find time, but I couldn't even imagine it's, having kids and trying to do this and be successful at it. Yeah, it's, I don't, it's hard to answer it, you know, because yeah. like, it's just a part of my life. With the kids, I, I have them part time. So I have my days where, you know, I, I'm able to train and right, not, right, right. that I don't have them. Um, when I do have them, I'll go once, you know, maybe during the weekends I have them. Um, and they actually enjoy going. You right. know, it's, it's, so it's kind of weird. I'm so, like, hey, you guys want to go to the gym? Miles is always like, I want to go to the big gym. Well, the gym has a daycare. So. Right, yeah. And so, so, like, so, so that's one thing, though. People make the excuse, like, I have yeah. kids, I can't go to the gym, but gym you know, has, most they, gyms have, a, have daycares. They do. And it's, um, I'm not in there for like three hours, you know, when I have right. them. So, you know, I'm in there I, an hour, I get it in and we leave. The kids yell at me when we leave because they don't want to leave. Right. Um, but with my job and, you know, the, all, everything else, training clients, you just got to make time, man. It's just, it comes like, for instance, if you're watching a series on Netflix, you make time to watch that, that show right. on, on that night. Right. Make it make the effort to like make it priority, a priority in your right. life you know and you can get it done if you have to get up at four o'clock in the morning to go or if you're in there at 11 o'clock at night you know it's you either want to go or you don't right that's what that's what it and that's what i always to. tell people like if you say you don't have time there's time somewhere there all oh, there there's, there's 24 always. hours in a day let's say you're factoring out eight to sleep that's 16 hours now say you work eight hours that's eight hours left over let's say you right. drive an hour each way that's six hours left over i mean that's an hour to prep your mm -hmm. food you know, an hour at the gym, throw another 30 minutes on for cardio if you're trying to lose weight. Like, right. there's time there. You know, when I started... You, I don't mean to interrupt. You can bang out a, a workout, man, 30 minutes. For sure. You if you're can hustling. smoke yourself. If you're hustling. You know, so you can do it at home. There's plenty of places you can do it. You don't have to join right. a gym. You can always make time and find a way to get a workout. Because you don't necessarily even have to bodybuild. Like, I like bodybuilding. I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I, I like shaping my physique into what I want, but really it's all about just being active and being healthier, right? The amount of extra energy I have now that I live this lifestyle, mm -hmm. the diet and everything, like, man, I, I never looked like this in high school. Not, 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 right. not, not that I'm an impressive specimen yeah. like this guy here, yeah. but, uh, you know, I'm trying to be the best version of me. And that's, you know, and Absolutely. if that requires a little bit of my time, so be it. You know, my, my goals mean more to me than making excuses. And that's one thing I wish we were talked about it on the way over here. I think we already even talked about it. Don't lie Probably, to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And how can you like, how can you not invest in yourself? Exactly. You know, that's well, you one don't have to, you don't have to step on stage or be the biggest dude, or the shreddest right. dude or the fastest runner, but like just investing in yourself with the life that you're given. Like, I don't, I don't understand why you want to, wouldn't want to take advantage right. of that. Right. Just to be a healthy, like a better person, right? You know? And I, I went years of my life not investing in myself. I was more concerned with going out to the bars and mm -hmm. drinking and partying and like worrying about trying to get this girl's number, like you know, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. And like I found like more peace now with where mm -hmm. I'm at, you know, than I ever did in the past yeah. with any of that stuff, right? And you just got to prioritize it. I know when you're young, it's easy to like sit back and think that all there really is is to party, and you need to party now because you're not mm -hmm. gonna party like. 
But that party lifestyle was one I was truly invested in. And uh, when I gave that up, and I still do have my fun from time to time. Oh, absolutely. Right? There's room yeah. for it, but making it like your yeah. sole purpose, like working all week for the weekend to go out and blow your paycheck on, like, you know, that's yeah. just not my. Or the ones, problem. you know, like what? I worked hard this week, and then I went out this weekend, you know, Friday through Sunday, and ate this, and I drank that. And, uh, right. Like, you know, why? Why would you do that? Yeah, you know, derail like, yourself. Exactly, you're completely steering yourself off course. Right, right. Good question, Matt. Thank you, buddy. Now, next question we got is... Uh, and what was that, uh, rambling rim right there? No. <laughs> <laughs> is I want to see how he maintains his beard so nicely. Oh, you do man. have an epic beard going on. I can't grow. I don't, I don't like to brag about it. <laughs> my boy Corey at the Wool Exchange. He hooks it up, man. He The guy knows what he's doing. Beard oil and all yeah. that? <laughs> I do have beard oil and I, I brush it every single morning. Nice. You know, or every night when I get out of the shower. Nice. Yep. Are you going to shave it when it comes time for your comp or are you going to keep it? <sighs> dun, dun, dun. No, I'm keeping it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. Uh, I made nice. the decision a few weeks ago. Awesome. Well, Dan Lorenz, he wants to see a shirtless. We already... Uh... <laughs> My boy, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. We, we already got that. Yeah. And then um, let's see here. Now, another one. Cardio. Right now you're in a mass building phase. Correct. What's your cardio look like when you are right now trying to build muscle versus when you are cutting down, like length of time, frequency, all that? Uh, well, when I, due to the fact that I, most of the time I'm doing construction, that that's my cardio. You know, I'm carrying brick for eight to 10 hours, 12 hours a day. Right. Um, yeah, no cardio. That's, that's good enough for me. If I'm feeling like kind of watery or, you know, like, fat in a sense right one day i'll jump on and do some cardio but it's it's not very very likely. minor yeah no very minor <laughs> i save the cardio for when it's shredding season right you know? how and much cardio are you because i remember last shredding season you were doing a ton of yeah cardio. daily at least 30 minutes <sighs> steady yeah, state rough yeah yeah you won't catch me running yeah <laughs> right no, no, no. And that's another thing too, you don't have to run, right? No. You can set that incline up, which is what I do. That's the type of cardio I do. I do mm. I do 40 minutes about five times a week right now, yeah. you know what I'm cutting? Mm -hmm. That's a good frequency for me with me having a very inactive lifestyle. Like right. I'm sitting at a computer no, day, right, in yeah. a chair similar to this. <laughs> where I'm not out slinging concrete. Yeah, that was that, my last show, I think. My cardio got cut due to my job. Like that was my cardio. Really? Yeah. So I didn't there for a few weeks. I didn't have to do any cardio. Nice. Yeah. It was nice in a sense, but yeah. It's still but, but, but you're still working. <laughs> right. And so. you're and and you're actually working right now and transitioning out of the manual labor stuff. And you Correct. started your own personal training business. Yes. Been picking up clients and stuff, huh? Yes. How's that going? Uh, good. Good. It's I have well, you know. Yeah. This as well as my, any other other of my friends, I have a very big issue with putting myself out there. Right. Weird as it seems on my Instagram, I know. <laughs> but for things like that, I just yeah. second guess myself on a lot of stuff and well, overthink it, everything. You know, I, I used to be the same way, and then obviously doing what I do, every I'm I'm out there. <laughs> right. There's not a part right. of me that's not out there. Right. And you just got to understand that, like, cause it's easy to think you're gonna post something and then people are gonna just hate on it, right? Mm. And you're always gonna have those people that hate on it. People hate me to this day for what I do. And you just gotta understand that if they're hating on it, it doesn't matter. What does someone else's thoughts or opinion of you matter? Yeah. Unless it's your girl, unless it's your parents, you know, unless it's people that really matter to you, mm -hmm. you know, it, those people don't matter. You just need to go out there and put your name out there and you can't be scared, you know, if because if, if you provide a product and that product is personal training, if you believe in your product and right. you know that, hey, someone's paying me X amount of money and I'm, you know, change their body, I'm gonna right. show them what they need to do, that's I, that's worth it. Yeah, it's a know? good feeling. And too. all businesses advertise. Oh yeah. So putting yourself out there, letting people know what you do. Yeah. Something it's just a part of the process, man. Yeah. You're you're right, you know, and your support, my my girl's support is phenomenal, dude. And ink support, of course. You know, it's it's help help me come out of my shell right. a little bit with that. I still need to and, do more, but well, it, and it goes to show too, like um, someone like Nate, for instance, from the outside looking in, dude's got one of the best physiques I've ever seen. I'm, I'm, I'm being serious, this dude, especially wait till you see him shredded. Some of you might have even been on the channel for a while, but one of the best physiques ever. He's tall, handsome, beard, you know, like, <laughs> <Beard>. <laughs> he's got everything, but yet even guys like this struggle with the insecurities, oh, you know, absolutely. we all have, and confidence issues. So it, you're not alone in this when you right. have that stuff. Oh, and all, yeah, and that's it's for sure. all a mindset, man. It is. You know, I yep. used to be one of the most self-conscious people in the world, and I am still very self-conscious about specific aspects of myself, but I never let those keep me from doing what I'm doing. No matter how many pimples I have on my face, how broken out I am, <laughs> right. how chubby I'm looking, like, right. I just do it. I get it right. done. And at the end of the day, that's kind of when it comes back to the training and the diet. You just got to get it done. You just got to do it. Heck yeah. Exactly.
I agree with you on that. Hey, well, I had a great day. It was a good day. What Good it? workout, good Let, food. Look, little behind the scenes with Nate. It's been a while since you've been in a video it like has this. More to come, I promise. More to, okay, good. I promise. Good. So if you guys want to see more videos in this format here, you know, maybe mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can do one with Ankrum next. Uh -oh. Is he over there? Yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll do one with him next, but these day in the lifestyles, or you know, we just kind of go through a day and do our thing. Um, comment below. And if you guys yes. like Nate in the videos, comment below as well. I keep trying to get him to pick up a camera and start a YouTube channel. Yeah. So if maybe. enough people comment, you might spur him into it. <laughs> Alright, well I think that's all the time we got. It's probably gonna be a very long video. It is. But hopefully, hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully you got some value out of it. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Helps me out more than you know. Helps old Nate out too a little bit Indeed. there. More, Indeed. More, more, more people get to see him and he gets advertised for free. His personal training business. I will also too, I'll link his social media in the description box below. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. You guys want to get on and see what he's up to. Like I said, he's bulking now. He's going to be road to a show come next year. Coming up. I, that might be a series on the channel. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's going to be dope. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Do you have anything you want to say in parting? Uh, not a whole lot. Just uh, work hard. Stick to the plan and let us know what you want to see next. Bingo, there we go. With that, we're out of here. Thank you guys so very much. And don't forget to, to smile, smile pay, remain positive, and, and pay, pay someone, someone a compliment, compliment because you never know whose day you can make it better. With that, I am out of here. This has been a Remington James production, and I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys. <laughs>